Hey guys, this is Amal from Tech Other Crap. In this video, I want to show you guys a really quick hack for your slim wallets for ADC carry, or you can even implement this hack on a Midori style journal. So you can buy money clips like these and they all come in in different sizes and in different lengths. So you can see this is a bit wider than this one. This is shorter and here's a shorter one that is thinner. And so they come in different sizes. And of course, these are designed to hold money, you know, separately, uh, just on your own, uh, depending on how you like to carry them. And you can always use them for that purpose. But I want to show you, if you get a money clip that has a flat back, and this is important depending on what you want to use it for, what you can do is you can always slip it onto a wallet. So this is uh, the, one of the slim wallets that I make. This should work on basically any slim wallet. It kind of depends a little bit on the layout. This is just a horizontal style slim wallet that I usually make. And this is like a vertical opening, right? And so normally this is just a sleeve and you put cards in there. You can put cash in there, but you'd have to fold it twice or whatever. And so I've had a lot of people ask me about clips. And so I did actually make some uh, of my, my sleeves with like a bottle opener clip right here and with just a standard money clip. And the deal with these is they are riveted on. So what I wanted to do is have an option for if someone didn't want to have a money clip, they wanted to have the option to have their cards and their cash separate, they could do that. Or if they wanted to you know, have it all together, they could always you know, just take the cash and add that onto the backside. So the idea is you can expand like the functionality of your Slim Wallet. And so same thing with this, this is my Slim Wallets, the Ultra Slim I make has the one front pocket for your quick access cards. You can put several cards in there and cash here, but you can also expand it by slipping on this clip. Now, one thing I do want to warn you guys is uh, be aware of the clips you buy. Some clips will end up scratching the leather. So this is actually a pretty uh, nice clip that I had ordered. Uh, it will scratch a little bit, but like this is Halloween leather. It is very pliable and you can see it's actually holding up fairly well. Same thing with this one. And so you can see like this one, for example, is super tight. And so as that moves up and down uh, on the wallet, now in theory, you wouldn't be moving it around a whole lot. You know, it would kind of stay in one position and then you would just um, slip the money in there. And then when you needed it, you would of course, you know, count out the money or you just pull it and you have to be sure to pull it downwards, you know, and then when you're putting it back in, you want to support the clip with your finger. I mean, in theory, depending on, you know, how you put the cash in, it shouldn't be a problem, but you could always, you always run the risk of the clip popping outwards a little bit. So these ones are pretty tight. If you wanted to, you can always expand them. So this clip here, for example, what I did was I just grabbed it and then pulled it apart. And you can see there's a nice little gap in there. These ones don't have that. Just use a little bit of discretion to see how much uh, you want this spread apart. You might not want it spread apart at all. These are not spread apart at all. I think I just did the initial break in, uh, kind of just to spread it out a little bit and get the get it on the leather. And so you will have to do that, you know, so these are super tight. So if the clip is super tight and you can't get it on the leather without damaging it, you can just separate this clip out. These ones are made super tight. And so there's, when there's a gap in there, you can like stick a piece of cardboard or some kind of spacer. Um, I just use my fingers to kind of hold that separated. And then you can slip this on. You can also keep it front and center or you can just move it to the edge. Like I said, do be aware a little bit of the leather. You don't want to scratch it up too much. And so once it's on there, though, you should be able to just slip your cash in. Once again, support uh, the clip with your um, with your finger. And so it it's a nice way of carrying some extra cash on you. And one other quick trick I will show you guys is if you have a journal. Now, this is the Modori style journals I make. There's a lot of journals that have similar design like this. These ones specifically don't have pockets, right? And so they're made to hold the moleskin or field notes journal. And then this is the pen loop. You can always add a clip to the back. And so this is the three and a half by five and a half journal. So the leather cover that I make is uh, about six inches and you can see the cash fits perfectly in there. And so uh, you can always just keep that in there. You know, if you had some documents you want to slip in there, you know, that, that's another way to, to keep things secured. But it is a nice way to carry extra like paperwork or even some cash in your Midori uh, journal too. So anyway guys, I hope that helps. These clips I will be offering on my website, but I will be sure to post the links on Amazon. Amazon has some really cool kind of carbon fiber looking stuff. And so I'm going to go search Amazon and post some links in the description for you guys to buy them on Amazon. But I will also be adding them to my website. Uh, kind of the idea is they'll be like separate or maybe I'll have an option to add them to a slim wallet. But this is the idea that you can always expand on your slim wallet or, or like a journal you may have. 
or anything with a clip like this once again you want to have the flat back because otherwise when this part is in here you may end up scratching up your cards or your cash or something weird like that so i prefer the flat back ones i suppose if you want it to be super secure and you got a, a money clip that had these flares out on both sides i guess when you put it in the wallet this could act as a hook so it wouldn't fall out uh, more readily so that's always an option uh, potentially the clips i got ordered and i'll probably carry on my website are these flat ones uh, because usually what's in a slim wallet like this or even my sleeve that i make is that there's a, usually a stack of cards and i don't want to end up uh, you know risking damaging the the back side i hope this uh, trick helps you if you have a slim wallet either whether it's mine or anyone else's they should be able to work once again be sure to test out the leather if you need to separate the clip out so yeah guys if you're interested you can go check out these money clips they'll be available on my website you can check out the description i will post amazon links to clips that i think would also work for this uh, idea you can go check out my website techleathercraft.com be sure to subscribe to my channel if you're interested in tech leathercraft and edc and multi-tool stuff you can also follow me on all my social media the links will be in the description take care guys bye